this resonances thing i think we've also known about for a little bit but i'm excited about this so normally players could only gift items to other players if they were present when the item was found so you had to be playing together when an item dropped to get it but now with resonances you can um if you're playing with a player frequently you'll acquire resonances with that player allowing you to trade with them at a later date or give them items at a later date uh this is a really clever system because it kind of mitigates that decision of like game developers and they're trying to figure out well do we allow people to just always trade but then we open ourselves up to issues with uh like real money transactions um or do we keep things super locked down so you can't trade anything that's really highly valuable this is kind of hopefully giving us the best of both worlds and that your friends and your guildmates and people that you're playing with all the time you'll have these resonances for so you can give them things that they'd find useful and you can just kind of play more collaboratively but it also really makes it much more difficult to do those like to undermine that undermine the whole system with rmt because you won't have these for random random players i think the question will be is this overly gameable like does that market still end up existing where instead of just doing the transaction like out of game and then trading the item is it not hard for people to just go in and like, okay, well, let's play together for 20 minutes until we get a resonance, and then we will take that and use that to trade whatever item you've just paid for at, with, via a real money transfer. Um, and I think that probably just comes down to how these drop. It helps that there are two tiers, the obsidian and the gold. So the golden ones are used, normal, are used with normal magic rare set and unique items without legendary potential, so like, it can be used for pretty good stuff, but not like the way high upper echelon items. I imagine those will drop fairly consistently, and I also don't imagine most RMTs are going to be around those types of items because they're slightly less high value. The higher value stuff will be these legendary potential items and legendary items. Um, so if these drop at like a much longer rate, that'll probably help curb that problem that I'm talking about a little bit, but... Again, we haven't seen how this feels in practice, but I am pretty excited for it. I think it's going to be a, a well-designed system. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes.